those. Gonna be a big jump. And beautiful. Oh, geez. That was a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And stick the landing. Okay, here we go. Getting some air. Look at the suspension working. <laughs> I never thought we would see a Corvette off-roading like this. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh okay. See, this is what happens when I try to take people out. Okay. This is fine. YouTube, Moto Gaming here. Today we're going to be checking out Forza 5. I do want to thank Microsoft for providing me a key for this game. And folks, I'm so pumped up. I've been waiting to play this. So we're going to start from the beginning, hopefully earn maybe a couple cars. I have a couple ideas, like potentially making like a supercar or some sort of sports car into an off-roading beast. So we're going to jump in and start grinding out races. If you guys are excited for Forza Horizon 5, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let's do this. All right, I think we're ready to jump in. I think we're about to launch this Bronco from a cargo plane. So this is perfect. All right, there it goes. Oh, that looks sweet. All right, so I'm not sure the uh, the intro can get any more epic. Oh, never mind. There's a volcano in the background. Uh, I stand corrected. All right, so I guess we're going to go through a little tutorial here, probably uh, introduce some things, and then hopefully it lets us uh, go explore and hopefully earn some cool cars. What kind of cars do you guys want to see us uh, get in this game, and what kind of races should we do? We are on the side of a- oh, there's the plane! Yeah, we're on the side of a mountain here. Uh, this is fine. So, there's a volcano back there. I'm assuming we're just supposed to follow the road here. And, uh, we're gonna end up, hopefully, at the Horizon Festival, and- oh, that is awesome! Dude, that's like a rally raid vehicle! Okay, oh. Wow, this looks like my normal driving on BeamNG. What the heck? Okay. You know, could you imagine if it had Beam and G crash physics? We would have exploded there. All right, race down a big hill, honk. Can we take the other car out? Oh, no, I missed him. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's not crash during the intro. Uh, that'd be very bad. All right, land the awesome jump. Let's see, where are we going to? We're getting to the Baja circuit. All right. Oh, here we go. This looks like the festival, Han. Let's try to get this guy a little bump here. I'm totally just going to shove him out of the way. Uh, wait. Is this a bridge? Oh, this is definitely a, oh, here we go. Ball, oh, dude, wait, these are ball haul trucks and stuff. Can we just race the trophy trucks? Okay, are we launching more vehicles? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Is this the C8? Oh, yeah, buddy. All right, so we're already driving the uh, Corvette and there appears to be a sandstorm. Actually, we dealt with one of these the other day in uh, the long drive. Okay, so I guess we're expected to just drive straight into this thing. This is completely fine. This is a normal day in Forza. All right, got a turn coming up here. Oh, geez. Uh, I guess maybe we could shoot off the road. I don't know. I don't think a Corvette does very good off-roading. That looks so cool. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see here on. What's the inside look like? Oh, there we go. That's a good view. All right, let's go back out, and we are in a sandstorm. Dude, look at the buildup on the car. That's cool looking. Uh, I can't really see anything. Uh, at some point, I guess we're gonna get through this. Oh, there we go. Let me guess, it's gonna launch another car at us here. See, I like how these games build you up. They give you all these awesome cars to start with, and then it just rips your heart out, and it gives you something slow. Okay, it looks like we're getting into potentially a rally car. I can't tell what that is from here. Thunder in the jungle. So yeah, they get to take you through all the different areas in the game, and that is a, oh, it's a Porsche. All right, this thing's pretty sweet looking. Uh, see how this thing handles, though. So, yeah, I'm kind of curious if we can kind of stick to whatever disciplines we want to. I know eventually you're going to want to do all the uh, different styles of races, but uh, I typically like a lot of the off-road stuff. Even though that Corvette was really sweet, I wouldn't mind having that in the game, too. So, we're going to definitely have to build our collection of cars here. All right, going through a little town here. This thing's uh, fairly nice. It's not as slidey as I would like it to be. Like, I really wish we can... Wait, was that a dog? I guess we just saw a dog back there. But, yeah, I wish we could get a little bit more sideways in this and oh i want that all right so they're attempting to lead me to uh, some place uh, i thought we would go into the festival it feels like that's the way the other horizon game started like you just drive right into the uh, the big party essentially uh no looks like a temple oh and looks like we're traveling to the desert now baja california hey this is where they do the baja 1000 they better give us something oh i thought they're gonna give us like a trophy truck or something uh final drop wait what's the car though Oh, this seems a little dangerous. How many people do you think die during this festival? <laughs> I hate to bring up that fact, but geez, look at what we're doing. 
Hey, there's just cars showing up from all different directions. That looks amazing how you see the off-roaders to the side. Uh, we're on the road here. Let's see if we can make a pass. Uh, what is that? Uh, I couldn't really tell there. Uh, oh, I'm going to slow down a little bit here. There we go. Oh, yeah, the driving physics are awesome. I mean, it's not a simulator, but for an arcade game, it feels very, very nice. All uh, right, passing some more cars. This cargo plane is just, like, locked onto us. I think it's just circling. Uh, what is this car we're about to pass here? Kind of look like a Ford GT. Oh, that's a tree. Hey, we can go through those. It's fine. Yeah, that kind of looks like a Ford GT there, the blue car. I can't really tell what the white car is. I should probably pay attention to the road. Uh, how many racing games have I played where I keep looking back and I crash into stuff? Even though it does seem like it's a little forgiving when it comes to the trees here. Oh, this is cool. There's a lot of people here on this straight. All right, we're just going to race through. Uh, oh, this is going to be cool looking. Dude, look at all the cars. And that was a finish and a half right there. Okay, so I'm rather impressed because I thought it was going to give us a terrible car to start with. We can do the Corvette Stingray. Uh, we've got the Ford Bronco. Or we have the uh, Toyota Supra. I think we have to go with the Corvette, right? As much as I would like to just off-road right now, That's this is too sweet not to take. So there we go. Uh, we'll definitely have to customize this bad boy. All right, so the game is wide open now, as you can see, uh, sub for more. So yeah, this started off a whole lot different than I thought it was going to. You, this is basically a continuation of the last one, which took place in the UK. And you've already, I'm assuming, won the festival last time. So. They pretty much just let you get some nice cars to begin with, and sounds like we're going to be doing some awesome races, except for the whole fact I just crashed through somebody's house. This is fine. So we should definitely go check out the first race here, and then potentially we'll go uh, maybe check out some of the cars, maybe some of the locations around this area. Uh, we'll kind of see how we're going to do the series itself. Uh, of course, we're going to race a lot on camera, but I'll probably play a little bit off camera too. All right, so our first race is a showcase. I'm not quite sure what that means. Did we get to use the Corvette or are we going to use another vehicle? What was that? All right, so we have a Ford Escort from like 1994. Uh, are we supposed to follow the plane? Wait, what are we doing? Am I supposed to pull up in it? Or actually, I don't think I can really keep up with it. It's taking off, I believe. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just head to the checkpoint and just pay attention to what the plane's actually doing. Yeah, it kind of would seem that this is really dangerous for them to be doing this. Uh, they almost hit an ancient structure. It's fine. All right. I think potentially they're going to drop off cars. I'm seeing multiple dots in that plane. So I'm thinking that's a thing. Oh, uh, well, get over here. All right, let's get on the highway. Uh, next checkpoint. Oh, here we go. It's dipping uh, low here. We're going over another nice jump. Oh, this car is pretty sweet. Okay, plane's going over there. Where are we going? This kind of looks like grandstands it's like there's a track or something over here uh maybe we're going away from it but yeah there's something definitely over there we'll have to check that out all right they're opening the cargo door what is happening wait are those dirt bikes wait are those actually in the game can we ride those i don't know if that's a thing or not that looks cool though uh i didn't expect that all right Ooh, wait what happens if we run over somebody on a dirt bike all right so technically we are racing right now uh we're up to third or actually we're switching between third and fourth so this is uh, awkward. It's a Ford Escort versus, I'm assuming, three dirt bikes. There's something else over here. Uh, I think it's about to... Actually, it's up ahead of us. Okay, stay in the checkpoints here. Uh, let's see if we can find a way in front of them. I feel like this is a little bit more of a scripted event, and they're supposed to be showing off in front of us. All right, well, here comes the finish. So, yeah, we're racing uh, two dirt bikes and a cargo plane. That's a thing. Hey, but look, we got a free car out of this. That's all that matters. All right, so we got a Ford Escort. So we do have an off-roader. I'm kind of glad I didn't pick the Bronco. Oh, look at that. That's awesome looking. So I think we finally get to use maybe our Corvette. There's a circuit race up here I'd like to do. And then uh, maybe we'll go do a, like an off-roading event too. We still have the Escort, but I want to unlock some things. I'd like to get like a wheel spin or something. Uh, maybe we'll earn some cars here in a second. All right, here we go. And we're ready to go. All right, so are these the cars that are already in our garage? Wait, do we actually have a Porsche? Uh, I kind of want to drive this. Oh, yeah, I think that is the thing. So, yeah, we have more cars in the garage than I thought we did. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this one out real quick and see how it handles. I love the Corvette, but, I mean, this is a Porsche. All right, here we go. Decent start there. Uh, there looks like there's a Scooby-Doo van or something up there. What the heck is that? Okay, whatever it is, it's uh, really pretty fast. Here we go. I'm just going to push somebody out of the way. This is fine. 
Alright, this is a tight little circuit. It's a good car for it though. Let's go ahead and shoot through this checkpoint. Uh, see if we can cut up. Oh, we're gonna squeeze somebody into the wall here. This is fine. Uh, see if we can get around them. Oh, wow. There we go. Get a little uh, drifting going on. All right, we got three laps here. Yeah, this is a really small course. I think we're coming around to the uh, start finish line. And oh, we just knocked somebody's bumper off. Hey, there goes a the mirror. Okay, try to move up the inside. Trying to be somewhat careful. I don't want to fly off the track. I don't really typically like using rewinds. I'll use them if I have to. But that's the thing I like to try to avoid in these games. Okay, oh, uh, just gonna cut up the inside here. Uh, late break. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can slide up the inside. That's gonna be second place. All right, we got one person in front of us here. Okay, we might have to bump up the difficulty just a little bit here. Okay, go through here. Oh, I uh, gotta wait for another really tight corner. Actually, we might be able to overtake him here. Uh, here comes a corner. Uh, late break. Kind of dive bombed in there a little bit. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have to try this online. I feel like this would be pretty cool. All right, it's gonna be the final lap. All right, so I'm assuming those uh, three cars at the very beginning, I think we have all of those. So we might actually take the uh, the Bronco out here in a minute and go to one of the off-road events because I'd really like to mix it up here a bit. Okay, we're absolutely smoking the competition now. Uh, definitely have to up the uh, AI difficulty. Plus you get a little bit more uh, rewards for that, I believe in XP. So here we go. And boom, that was a fairly easy win to start there. All right, here we go. We got our first wheel spin. Please just let me have a car. Actually, money's pretty good, too. Uh, we can go buy the cars that we want. Nice. Oh, look at that. It's actually raining outside. Ooh, the rain effects, though. Look at the uh, rain puddled up on the road. I wonder how uh, slick the road is now. Okay, where is the rain cloud? I guess it's just like one little cloud uh, above us. I'm kind of curious if it's going to dry up here. Uh, but yeah, we need to make it to our next event, which I think uh, we're going to probably go do maybe this trail over here. I think it's just right up the road. So real quick, we're gonna go look at the other cars. So some of these are actually loyalty cars because we've uh, played the other Forza games. Not on the channel, but I've played them in my personal time. Also, I think it said we had wheel spins. Oh, there's an old Charger here. That looks cool. Uh, maybe we're gonna switch to this Bronco for the event. There we go. So we'll switch to this. I feel like this is gonna be good for the next event. Oh, that looks incredible. Okay, so we've turned up the AI a little bit. It is a sunset race. It says it's a dirt race, so I'm hoping we're just gonna launch straight off uh, into the desert here, but oh, maybe that's not gonna be a thing. Uh, also, uh, Pandora's in front of me. That's kind of weird. Okay, oh, this is gorgeous. I can't get over how awesome the game looks. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh okay, see, this is what happens when I try to take people out. Okay, this is fine. All right, that wasn't exactly a clean move, but the course is really awesome. Uh, see if we can catch the AI. I moved him up one notch. I think potentially we'll go up one more because it gave me a 30% XP boost for just doing that. And uh, I feel like if we can get one more notch up on him, uh, it'll be good. I don't know. I always find that the dirt racing or the off-roading in these games is a little easier AI-wise compared to some of the uh, asphalt stuff. So... Uh, I guess we'll have to see if we spank them here. Uh, they seem pretty competitive, though. This is a, a lot better. Okay, hit the checkpoint. Uh, oh, this is going to be a sharp corner. Whoa, he just ran right into me. Okay, what is that in front of us? That is a strange-looking truck. All right, over the hill here. Uh, let's try to slide up the inside. <laughs> okay, we just kind of rooted him out of the way there. This is fine. Let's try to get a clean pass on the uh, on the leader, at least. Uh, what is that? I can't tell what kind of a car that is. Uh, let's cut to the inside. Under a bridge here, we're 74% done. I uh, got plenty of time. I kind of hope there's some extended, like, rally events, like these off-road events like this. Uh, because, of course, the Baja 1000, stuff like that, there's huge rally events in real life. And I, I just kind of hope they replicate that somewhat here. Okay, we gotta find a way to get in front of the leader here. It's a bunch of straightaways. They... I feel like they actually have us on acceleration, but oh, there we go. That was nice, and the finish is right up here. Okay, the AI feel like they were at a decent level. I, I feel like we can kick them up one more notch, but that was a lot more competitive than the first race. All right, I definitely feel like for the video, we should complete one more. Maybe we'll do the uh, cross-country race. Kind of curious as to if it is what I think it is. Uh, I'm hoping we can just do stuff like this. 
I like how we can go through pretty much any tree, which is nice because there's a lot of trees out here and cacti. Here we go. Uh, do we have a different style of car we can use? I know we've got a normal Bronco, which, I mean, if you've got this, why would you use the normal one? Let's see what kind of event this is. So it's a cross country, so tear across the desert. So it's looking like it's gonna be uh, jumps and river splashes and all that other good stuff. So definitely want a big off-roader. Let's see what we got though. Do we have anything else we can use? You know, we could use the little Ford Escort. That's a thing. I have a good bit of money too. I might be able to get something. Here, let's use the Escort for this one. All right, here we go. This looks like the same starting line that we just started at. Hey, look, there's OB. Dude, look, I am racing with the with the boys and, and the girlfriend, so that's a thing. All right, uh, you know, this is actually a good selection. I like the whole fact that it does kind of change the AI, so if we pick a car like this, it's going to put them in similar ones. What happens if we would have picked the Corvette? Ooh, you know, I feel like we've got to do that. we got to race the Corvette across the, uh, the desert here just to see what happens. I feel like that's not going to be a good thing, but it might be funny. I mean, could we just upgrade it and maybe put some off-road tires on it? <laughs> I kind of want to go look at the upgrade shop after this and see if that is a possibility. Oh, this is going to be a big jump and beautiful. Oh, geez. That was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And stick the landing. That was good. All right. Let's see if we can try to catch the leader here. Uh, fourth position, about halfway through at the race. Okay, are we coming up to another jump? We're climbing and oh, wow. Look at that view and boom. All right, there's second place there. Leader's right ahead of us here. The checkpoints are nice and wide here. And wait, which way did we go? Okay, left side. I saw the road that was really deceiving. I was about to take it there for a second, but it's cross country. You get to skip all the roads. Okay, coming up to another massive jump and oh dear, land it. Oh, this is a, this is a lot of river right here. Let's see if we can skim through it. That was epic looking. Hey, leaders pulled us a little bit here. I need to find a way to catch up. There's not a lot of tight corners here, so it's kind of hard to rough people up. Uh, a lot of just wide open territory. And they definitely seem to have quite a bit of speed here. Okay, is that the Porsche? I think that might be the Porsche ahead of us. And yeah, I just couldn't catch him there. I was wide open the whole time. I'll take a second place though. It's not bad. Hey, look, we got a wheel spin again. What are we going to get this time? Come on, give us a car. Oh, we almost got a Subaru, but... You know what? 70,000. That ought to buy us something or at least get us some good upgrades. All right. We're going to head back to the festival real quick. I want to see if we can upgrade this right now. It might be something we have to unlock here in the future. Uh, we shouldn't be far from unlocking it uh, because we've done quite a bit so far. Okay. Here is the festival. Let's see if we can upgrade around here. Uh, I know the auto shows around here somewhere is... Uh, maybe we just have to be at the hub in order to access everything. Okay, so this is the uh, buy and sell. Looks like some of this isn't available at the moment. Uh, the auction house is over here. We can go ahead and paint this thing a little bit different. Let's see what kind of uh, paint jobs we have. Oh, there's some cool stuff in here. Oh, you got to be kidding me. This thing is cool looking, Han. Oh, we've got to download this. It's an American flag. How can you not go with it? Okay, I'm really happy with that. Let's go to upgrades and tunings. Uh, let's see if maybe we can find a way to make this an off-roader. Okay, let's see what compounds we have. Do we have like an off-road? Let's see, we got race, uh, drag, snow. Oh, <laughs> we're going to make an off-roading Corvette. Okay, let's do that. I want to be able to use these in the, like, the cross-country events. Let's go ahead and make it a wide boy tire here. All right, so as far as rear wing, we're going to keep the same one. Uh, it makes it where you can adjust the downforce. I don't know if it really matters for off-roading, but it looks pretty sweet. I got the big off-road tires. Let's go ahead and upgrade. Wait, can we can do an engine conversion here. Engine? So, trying to see. Oh, you can put a racing V12. Ooh. Or we can add 335 horsepower to it. You have the racing 7.2 liter V8. I mean, the V12 sounds better just because I used to love the Formula One cars with the V12s, but we've got to do that V8. Okay, we're going to go ahead and change it to a all-wheel drive. Uh, helps with the off-roading. And, oh, you know, we got to put the... Uh, the twin turbos on this bad boy okay we are gonna fully upgrade the engine here uh just put the best of the best this is gonna knock it into a different class no doubt but i'm kind of curious what the horsepower number is gonna be after this okay and as far as springs we put rally springs on it so it's gonna lift up the car a little bit there we go 
Uh, she looks somewhat off-road ready. I mean, you're going to tear off the pretty nose on this, but this is fine. Here's okay, yeah, this is only going to cost $106,000 to do, but you know what? It's going to make it worth it because we have an off-roading Corvette now. So here's a look at the numbers. We went from 515 horsepower to over 1,300, closer to 1,400 horsepower. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Please tell me this thing's an absolute monster. Yes, it is. Oh, what the heck? Yep, 1,400 horsepower. Oh, wow. Oh, let's just tear across. Actually, let's go down the runway here. And then, uh, actually, this might be a drag strip. Yeah, it's a drag strip. Okay, so we've topped out at 155. We need to change the gearing up here because I know we can go a lot faster. Did we not do anything with the transmission? Uh, hold on, let's just test some of the off-roading capabilities. Wow, it just it handles great. Okay, here we go. Getting some air. Look at the suspension working. <laughs> I never thought we would see a Corvette off-roading like this. Oh, this is the most American thing I think I've ever seen. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to go fix the uh, transmission because I know this thing is capable of probably insane speeds. But as far as an off-roader, uh, that's pretty sweet. Oh, yes, look at that. So I'm going to go work on that. If you guys want to see more of this on the channel, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button. Uh, give me ideas for cars, uh, things that we can actually build. Uh, this is a pretty sweet little build here. Love the paint job. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.